Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature for the curve which is given in the parametric form. First part, we are going to find dx by dt which is a into 2t. We are differentiating with respect to t. In the same way, dy by dt, 2a is a constant, differentiation of t is 1. So by dividing this, we get dy by dx, that is dy by dt by dx by dt. So this will be 2a by a into 2t, we cancel 2a, so we left with 1 by t. We have two methods for finding the radius of curvature when it is given in the parametric form. But we are going to use a usual method by finding dy by dx and its second derivative and applying in the formula. For parametric, we have a separate formula. If we do by any method, we get the same answer. But this is much simpler. Second derivative, d square y by dx square, which is differentiation of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square. But we are differentiating with respect to x. So we have to also write dt by dx and dt by dx we can take from this this is dx by dt so dt by dx will be reciprocal of this so this is minus 1 by t square into 1 by a into 2t so finally second derivative d square y by dx square is minus 1 by 2a t cube now the radius of curvature rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by d square y by dx square. So this is 1 plus dy by dx is 1 by t but dy by dx whole square so 1 by t square. Then for this we have power 3 by 2 and this is minus 1 by 2a t cube. By simplifying further we get, we have to take LCM. So this will become t square plus 1 by t square. We have power 3 by 2. Let's take separately for this and separately for this and this will get multiplied in the numerator that is 2a t cube by minus 1. We can cancel this and this. This is t cube. So this t cube and this t cube we can cancel totally. And whenever we have a negative term we take its modulus and we make this as plus because radius of curvature cannot be negative. So it is a positive quantity. So rho is we have minus 2a then t square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2. So this is our required radius of curvature.